Yo, so uh, Ricky Sway, we got Trader Clothing here, Bergen. My name's Bergen. Bergen. We got Trader Clothing. You got some nice hoodies, t-shirts. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Tell the people when you start. Um, so this was back in September that the idea came to me and I started working on like design and trying to get good with it. I'd worked with like designing platforms before but never really like clothing specifically. So after about a few months of that I started getting stuff in production but hadn't gone public with it yet. And once I started to get inventory in then I went public with it in around end of October, early November. Okay. And then the first drop was December 27th and it actually everything sold out besides like a couple hoodies. Nice. And then, All word of mouth. What's that? All word of mouth. Um, like $300 in ad spend was it. Nice. So yeah. Um, and then this is the second drop. These are unreleased. So these are dropping this or February 24th, so Friday. And um, these are going to be dropping in black, brown, and red. And then these in white, brown, and red. And these are $30. These are $60. So trader.clothing, trader clothing on Instagram. And yeah. So. And this is your passion, correct? Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, I mean, I'm in high school, I'm a senior, I'm only 18, so I'm trying to get it scaled up. I'm going to university next year, but I want to try to scale it while I'm in school to get it to the point where I can do it full time. So, I mean, we'll see where it takes How many followers on social media did you have for everything to sell out on the first drop? Um, I think we're at the time of the drop, we were sitting around 700. We're at like 830 now, but I have uh, three to four K set aside in ad spend for this drop. So I'm expecting that to shoot up in the next week over to like above 5K. So we'll see, we'll see. How, how, you said 300 you spent in ads yeah. for the first drop to sell out everything. Yeah. So most of, was, most of it was most of it was local supporters. Um, I go to a high school that's like pretty small, so everybody's pretty connected, so people support it through that. And then um, a lot of it came from TikTok as well, and just a lot of online people that I worked with in the past. During I used to be super into crypto and NFTs, so I was doing that for a long time, so a lot of connections through that. So a lot of it came organically, and then some of it came from um, from like just connections I'd made in the past. But oh, we'll see oh. where this next drop takes me. Hopefully I can scale that higher with more ad spend, and we'll see where it goes. So you're saying ad spend is worth it? If you have the knowledge to run ads, yes. If you don't, then no. But I'm currently, I know how to run ads myself personally because I used to be pretty decent into drop shipping. And so like I was running, if any of you people watching know what like CPM is, it's like cost per purchase for an ad. I was running like $3 CPM. So for every purchase, I was spending only like $3 in ads. So like if I were to get this to that point, like profit margin would be crazy there. Right. But, um, clothing is definitely a lot harder to run ads for so like if you have someone who knows the knowledge of running ads It's definitely worth it, but it all just depends on like your knowledge itself. You know? So you're but, not talking about uh, Instagram boost. You're not talking about that, right? No, 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 like legit. Meta That's what we do. Manager. <laughs> right, or we do I that. Mean, hey, Instagram boost though is definitely profitable. I know a okay. brand with over 20k followers. He just did over 50k on his last drop from boost post like boost post can be profitable if you know how to run it correctly. Right. And like, yeah, like boost post is good too if you know how to use it right. Okay. Are these one-time drops? Yeah. So the first drop we had um, two hoodies and a shirt and then pants, and then this drop is going to be these hoodies here and these t-shirts here. But they're also dropping in a white as well and then a red here as well. So, so once this sells out, you're not going to right. sell it. Right. And these are on release. Yeah. So like these are exclusive now. These are the only place you can get them now until Friday when they drop. And then once it's the drop will be open for like two weeks, and after that it's closed, and you're never getting these again. Wow. So how like that, far like ahead that. are you with? designs so because when this one goes it's, um, it's not coming back so right so these i made back in the first original design was probably end of november so right now i'm working on a, a spring collection so i'm hoping to get that out by probably april so i'd say two months ahead of time i'm working on designs and then about two months later is when i plan to drop them if i get the samples in and they turn out the way i want them so the spring collection is going to have shorts or a jack light jacket right. or whatnot i'm thinking of doing um wax denim is really leather yeah, is really hot right now yeah. pants so i want to try to do uh denim shorts mm -hmm. and then i want to try to do mesh shorts as well and then something crazy something something crazy top for like to stand out i'm really trying to take this like TikTok is a huge tool. Like if you can, if you can blow up on TikTok, bro. Like that's free ad spend right there. So like, yeah. but you make clothes, right? 
But What's the TikTok? A video of your clothes? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the same. It's trader clothing. It's the same as our Instagram or TikTok is. And I post like three times a day on TikTok because I'm really trying to blow that shit up. Like, this is all I do. I, I literally go to school. I work my nine to five job. And then I work on my brand. Like, there's nights I'm up till four in the morning working on my brand. Yeah, like, sweet, sweet. Yeah, bro. You're dedicated. Yeah, I am. So, hopefully. I like, I like your vision, man. Like yeah, your vision. hopefully you can take me somewhere great. I, I guess we'll have to see. Who designed the logo? Yeah, yeah, I, I do all this, like this, the faces on these shirts are all hand-drawn. This this is not hand-drawn, this is just a font imported, but like the faces are hand-drawn. Do you have it. to pay for the font? Yes. Commer to get commercial rights for it, you do have to pay for it. I mean, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, can I get one of your stickers? Can we get one of your stickers? Of course. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. How, how many, uh, how many clothing line names did you go through before you decided for a trader well so this actually came into my head before like i was like thinking about it and like honestly it was kind of the first one like it had a lot of personal meaning for me so like i connected with it fast and i was like you're a trader right like <laughs> no like it's more like for i feel like for people who feel like they've been betrayed in the past like that's what oh, okay. brand's image is it's like around the definition of betrayal mm -hmm. so like the first shop we had a hoodie where it was a rib cage on the front and then a sinking heart and the, hunt, the hoodie was called the sunken heart hoodie. So like, okay. your heart was sinking after you've been like betrayed, you know? Right. Like, so a woman was the inspiration. <laughs> yes, a woman no, broke not, your heart. Not, no, <laughs> not teenage love, but like, not personally, but like, I feel like a lot of people can connect to that. I want oh yeah, to absolutely. That a lot yeah. of people feel like they can connect with. Your yeah. brand needs to have an image. Your brand needs to give people a reason and a meaning. To buy it. And like, a meaning. Like, damn. My girlfriend just broke up with me. This hoodie goes hard, you know? Like, yep. it needs to have a meaning, and people need to be able to connect with it before they make that purchase. No, bro. Dope. Well, we appreciate your time. Right, man. Thank good you. luck Thank on you. your brand, bro. We like it. Appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. All, All right. right. You too. He just started. I have a question. Um, are you guys interviewing people? Mm -hmm. okay, yes. So we're back here on table nine. He actually uh, started mental health awareness. Okay. His mom died of diabetes. Okay. I would love if you guys would take your time to interview him. Yeah, yeah. sure. It would mean a lot to him. He's trying to get his shoe brand out. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, if you want to follow me, I can take you yeah, to the yeah. table.